I'm going to show you how to download and install and run Halo 2 Project Cartographer. I'm going to head over to halo2pc.com. You're going to click Play Halo 2 PC. You're going to click the Cartographer Mod Installer. And you're going to click this right here, this 3 gigabyte one. You're going to download this wherever you would like. For now, I'll just put it in my Xbox games. Now just navigate to wherever you downloaded Halo 2 PC at. I'm going to right click. You're going to zip it. I'm just going to put it in its folder on its own instead of having all the files in here with all my other games. Now you're just going to click this Halo 2 PC installer 2.1. And you're going to run this. Run it as administrator. And click next. Scroll down. You can read this if you'd like. Click accept. Next. Now you can just install it to wherever folder you want. I'm just going to put it here because this is what it defaulted to and that's fine by me. Just click install. This section might take a little bit. Just give it time and it'll be finished in no time. Alright, once this is done, just click next. This will just automatically boot up the game, but I'm not going to do that right now. You're going to click finish. And wherever you installed your project cartographer, just find it. It should be in that folder that you put it. Mine's just right here, or right here, so I'm just going to click it. Now when booting up Cartographer, it's going to be in a lot lower resolution at first, as you can kind of see, but I'll teach you how to fix that real quick. When you first boot up Cartographer, you should make an account. Make sure you use Gmail. Last I heard, the Outlook emails weren't really working, so I would just use a Gmail for safety, and most likely it the email verification will pop up in your spam, so if you don't see it in your main inbox, check your spam folder. And your website cartographer account isn't the same as your the game project cartographer. They're two separate IDs or whatever. I'm not that smart. You're going to go down to settings, video. You can click your screen resolution. You can play windowed if that's what you prefer. I like to play full screen. That's just me and everything else. That's all up to you. So anyways, I'm going to go to screen resolution and pick my screen resolution, which is 1080p. I'm going to pick my refresh rate, which is 165. In this last update that happened, Project Cartographer is able to run on cap frame rate. All right, now we're going to go over here to this new setting that is not in the original Halo 2. It is the Cartographer setting. Now, if you ever want to update the game, you just click here. You just click check for updates and a little box will pop up. There's an update and it says download update. And then a little box over here will pop up and it'll download the update and you click enter and you just relaunch the game. So if you go over here to advanced settings. This little menu will pop up. I'll tell you a little bit more about the HUD in game for right now. I normally don't play 500. I was testing some things last night. I'm just going to put my refresh rate to 165. If you have a good PCO, turn your level of detail to cinematic. Keep shadow quality and water quality to default. I believe at high and ultra are in the 2K and 4K. Um, and I also like to play Max uh, Force Max Shader LOD. I like playing that and this. I do not play mouse and keyboard, so I can't give you a whole thing on that. That's something you're just going to have to figure out on your own. Controller setup. You can play any sensitivity you want. You can use this bar. Or you can type it in if you want. If you want to play 12.63 sensitivity, you can. I like to play 20. That's what my comfort zone is. And there's different types of aiming on here. Modern and default. I like to play modern. I just switched it one day and just kind of didn't go back. Dead zone type. This is all up to you. I like using both because I have I played a lot of MCC in my day and they use both. So that's just what I prefer. And this right here is what your dead zones would look like. So if you increase, so this is your X dead zone when looking up, and this is your Y. And this is your radius, how far you need to click your stick for it to move out. Now this is where you can control, have a complete customization of your controls. You have to be set to default in the actual Halo 2 settings um, for this to work. It even says layout has to be set to default. And you can make any button you want. Besides, you can't remap triggers, but any other button you can. If you want the melee button to, for some reason, uh, I don't know, 
crouch, or switch weapons, up on D-pad, you can have complete control of that. Game settings. Um, I normally play with no events off. Uh, off. I, I do not like having the events. I think they're really neat, and I do like looking at them from time to time. But sometimes they're a bit distracting to me. Uh, but the events, there's a Christmas event, there's a Halloween event, there's a Halo 2 birthday, Halo 2 Project Cartographer's birthday, but I normally turn that off, and I don't play with the intro anymore. Uh, I've just I've just seen it so many times, but if I do want to see it, I can just uncheck this. Every time I boot up the game, I'll see the intro, but if you get tired of it, click this. The game will instantly boot up, and that's the advanced setting, and I'll show you what the HUD does in-game. I know not everyone has this, but if you click your home key, you can bring up this advanced settings in-game. And with HUD, I play 78 FOV, but if you want to play higher, you can. As you can see, you can see your HUD move and everything in-game. And you can even set your crosshair offset. So if you want to, for some reason, play like this, you can. And if you want to play center aim, you absolutely can. And you can change your crosshair size if you want it really small. I know there's some people that do. I like to play it normally. I like to play with static FP scale on, because if you don't, it, for one, it slightly moves your character. Um, and if you play a higher FOV, you're going to look like this. And I personally don't really like that. I just don't like the look of it. I like I like this. So if I do want to play high FOV for, for whatever reason, I can. If I really want to play a low FOV, I can. And there's weapon offsets. So if you if your BR, for you personally, if it's too much in the screen and you still want to see it, or if you want to make it a little like Doom, you possibly can. You can zoom it in. You can zoom it out. Change it like this. Let's bring it down or bring it up. All right. Anybody that plays on a low-end PC, don't let this discourage you. One, this game came out in 2007. This thing can run on practically anything. But one thing that's really good about Project Photographer is you can... Obviously, I showed this, but I'll show you physically what everything looks like on low. So this is high. This is medium. This is low. This is very low. So if you don't have a high-end PC, you can just change the level of detail and see what works for you and what runs best on your computer or laptop, whatever you're using. This is how I used to run Halo 2 on my crappy laptop. It looks very funny, but it worked and the game ran fine. First person is not really affected, and obviously you can change your resolution to really, really low as well. Alright, hopefully this video helped you of how to set up Cartographer and kind of change the settings to make it run on a kind of low-end PC or a good PC, recommendations of good PCs. I hope this video helped.